assume that we would like to set up a scheduled job for this dashboard and it should actually be a batch scheduled job we would like to batch it across these three territories asia europe and north america and for instance for selecting europe we see european data but the title here uh, maybe we need to change that slightly um, we could add some dynamic content here uh, i would like to to uh, get notified that currently we're looking at european data for instance so it's just a matter of going into dynamic content uh, find the proper uh, cube and dimension the customer territory dimension and that's actually all you need you don't really need to do anything about the other things here um, when i just click ok here we can see that we are now seeing europe in the title and if i change to north america the title will change as well of course no selection will show all three territories uh, that's fine i'll just save it um, and now let's do a schedule job a batch schedule job so we can set up the schedule not important here we can change the format and well maybe i would like a pdf uh, from from this and with regard to delivery uh, let's we can do publishing or an email etc but let's just put it into a folder uh, either the default folder or actually if you click export here you can also pick from your shared folder uh, and actually create an, a special output folder for this so you will be able to view the exported pdfs from your uh, from your start page in the target client and also let's enable the batch processing uh, so it should be batched across the three territories and once we have set that change uh, we can go back to our scheduled jobs list and now we can just right click it to run it uh, so we can see the output from it it's running it succeeded we can close this list here and now we can go to our shared folder the output folder you need to enable the other documents type here and maybe also you'll need to do a refresh of your folder but there you have it uh, we have these free uh, territory reports free pdfs let's go back to the schedule job and this time let's have a look at the source options here we have the file name you can edit the export file name so territory dashboard is what we got we can add parameters to it and, and notice the second one dollar b uh, batch element that's what we actually had by default uh, from the batch job but now i'm going to add it again and also i'm going to add a date so dollar a and a timestamp dollar t so these are some of the parameters you could add here if you wanted to so having done that uh, I'll do an, another run here and just wait for that one to succeed and close the list here and let's have a look at the output I just need to do a refresh here in order to see the new uh, date and timestamp uh, reports now 1240 it says here so let's just wait a minute so now we've waited a minute and we can try to run it one more time and what you'll see is that once this one has completed uh, since it's being timestamped with a date and a time in this case uh, it will not overwrite the existing report it'll just create a new report with the timestamp so in this way if you have a report that is run on a daily basis you can actually keep an archive of your daily reports